What's up guys, I want to walk you through creating a silent auction app using React Native. In this video, we're going to go over an overview of how it's going to work. So here I have like a little just readme file, and I have the pages that I want in my application. So there's going to be a login page, a sign up page, there's going to be a view where you can see all the different auctions, um, you can see which ones are current um, that you can still you know bid on, or the ones that have already passed. Um, you should be able to filter and sort these and then you should be able to create new auctions um, and you should be able to click on an auction and bid or uh, edit an auction or that sort of thing. Down here I just set up what I'm going to be using for the database schema. It's super basic. Um, we're going to have a user uh, table where we can basically create users. That's what we're going to do when we sign up. Um, and then we're going to create auctions and then you can see the attributes I have here for the auction you're going to have a name uh, of whatever the item is um, you can have a current price um, so that's the current price it's going at and then when the expiration date is when the auction is over and then I also have a foreign key back to users um, so you can see who is selling the auctions and this is actually a many to one relationship um, users can uh, create many auctions. Um, so that's how the database is going to look for this application. So we're going to be having a React Native application um, and then there's going to be a back end with this database schema. So to get this working I'm going to be using a Create React Native App. This is a um, kind of a tool Facebook came out with that just makes it easier to start making a React Native app. So we're going to be using this to start the application and go from there. Um, and then for the UI, we're going to be using a native base. Um, this is some really nice, um, pretty looking components for React and Native. And the cool thing is, is it basically changes the style between iOS and Android. So you get a native feel for both of them. So like, for example, this is what a sign up page might look, up, look like in our app. And then here's, for example, a card view. Um, and this, for example, could be an auction. So we could put the auction name here and how much time is left and what is the current price of it. So that's what it's going to be for the UI. And then for the back end, I'm going to be using Feathers.js um, to set that up. So if you're interested in learning how I'm going to be creating this uh, silent auction app, stay tuned. I'm going to be uh, just walking you through the whole process of setting up the app in the back end and connecting the two. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.